Hi guys, I'm Courtney at womenlivingwell.org and this is... Alexis and Snowball! Yay! We have a new puppy! Yay. And if you follow my blog, you would have seen a couple months ago I share with you that I have this crazy, unreasonable fear of dogs. So I'm not afraid of my dog, but I might be afraid of your dog, which isn't good. So anyways, I have never had a pet before. Not a fish, not a frog, not a ferret. And so this little puppy has rocked our world. Tell the readers, so tell the viewers about Snowball. Well, she's a girl, yeah. It's a girl! <laughs> and she's eight pounds, and she's a Bichon Frise, and she's hypoallergenic and doesn't shed, and... She's such a good job. Yeah. We love her. She's very friendly and outgoing and all those great things. Yeah. And so, Snowball has visited us a few times. So, if you follow my Instagram, you might think that Snowball's been living with us for a while, because mm. um, yeah. she has come, like, from nine to five some days, or she stayed the night. Actually, she stayed a whole weekend. We had a slumber party with Snowball. <laughs> which was wonderful, and so, but she only permanently came to live with us just three weeks ago, and she wants to, okay, let me try and hold her. All right, so, she just came to be with us just three weeks ago, so tell us about week one. What was it like? Uh, really bad. She was peeing and pooping Stinker in the house, her. and it was just bad. Yeah. She was vomiting in the car. In the car, I didn't know dogs did face. that, so, but yeah, she had trouble with that, and then what was week two like? Uh, really well. She would. She finally got the concept of going to the bathroom outside. Oh, come on. And she still vomits in the car, <laughs> but she doesn't go to the bathroom in her crate anymore. No, not quite as much. <laughs> <laughs> she's still learning, but she's doing really good. And so then we went to uh, the Ma groomers. Okay. Tell them. Lexi wants to hold dog. <laughs> Tell them what it was like going to the groomers. We love well, the groomers. Went to yeah. that smart. They did a great job. But yeah, what was, she was really good. Well, what was her experience? Well, we went, we dropped her off, and there's a lot of big dogs, first big of all. Big doggies. And we aren't scared of our dog, but we're scared of your dogs. And so, <laughs> we were both standing there scared. That was fun. Yeah, yeah. and um, we went it's to pick worse. her up, and then, <laughs> and then we went to pick her up, and somebody, a guy, was on the floor sitting next to his pit bull dog, and he had just gotten bitten. Dripping and blood dog. literally all over the floor, like puddles of blood. Just what we don't need when you're afraid of dogs. So, the, the groomers scenario was a little scary, not sure we'll be going back there. So, then we went to the vet. How and was that was really good because there was, there was only two dogs there. Lots of cats. We don't like have cats. So. <laughs> so, the vet was great. And so, we're settling in. She's doing good. She's sleeping seven hours at night. So, I'm finally yeah. getting sleep. At the beginning, I wasn't at all. She was crying half the night. And um, we're get, we moved her from three meals to two meals a day, which has been helpful for um, her going outside. Yeah. And so we would love to hear your experience. We're training her to come sit down, all those fun things. But if you have any tips for us, um, any advice, we are open. We'd love to hear it. Leave it in the comment section below. Or um, if you have a Bichon, we'd love to hear about that. Or if you have another dog and you just want to tell us about your dog, we'd love to read in here. So um, wish us luck. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Walk with the